The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grandpappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Reed McCoys. We ain't? Why ain't we? Well, if uh, Kate don't bowl and she wants to go to the movies instead. I'll get it. What, what, what are you doing, Grandpa? Well, I was just looking for Kate's apron strings. I know these tied on the assemblies. <laughs> now, Grandpa, look, we can go bowling some other night. All right, all right. Go to the movies. You want to go to the movies. I just hope some brat explodes his bubblegum right again in the back of your neck. That was Mrs. Weaver from the PTA. She wants me to be on the entertainment committee. Oh? What are them women up to now? Oh, they're going down to the school auditorium and not get it all ready for the freshman frolic. Are you going, Sugar Babe? No. I told her I couldn't. I told her I was looking forward to going to the movies tonight with my husband. Yeah. I'll get my jacket. I'll just finish up in the kitchen. Well, I never thought I'd see the day when a McCoy would shirk a civic duty. What civic duty, Grandpa? Why, uh, helping them patriotic women over at the PTA, of course. Grandpa, they're just decorating the auditorium and settling on the refreshments. They're not fighting a war. Yeah. <laughs> Raise my head again. You want a McCoy over there amongst them, doing a bit? Well, it's not just for tonight, Grandpa. It's the whole week. All week, huh? Well, that figures. You don't get a party up overnight, you know. That auditorium's a big place. Ain't no puny chicken coop. Maybe I should go. No doubt about it. I guess I better call Mrs. Weaver back. Do you think Luke will mind? Oh, don't you worry about the boy. I'll stay with him. We'll find something to do. All set. Oh, well, Luke, uh, we won't be going to the movies tonight. What? Why not? Well, I just decided I ought to go over to the school and help. I may be tied up all week. Is that all right, Luke? Well, sure, but what made you change your mind all of a sudden? I just realized it's something I ought to do. You see, you got to be patriotic, and I'm proud of it for it. <laughs> Luke, would you like to go? They're always asking the women to bring their husbands along. Well, now, if that ain't the foolishest thing I ever heard of in all my born days, what would a big he-man like Luke be doing over there with a bunch of twittering women? Well, to tell the truth, sugar babe, I'd feel plum foolish down there making daisies and things out of crepe paper. <laughs> well, I can see you're not going, so I may as well go ahead and get ready. <laughs> Gun balls. Too heavy. <laughs> now, what was the uh, matter with that ball, Grandpa? It's too light. No. Oh. <laughs> One thing I can't stand is a bowling alley don't have the right equipment. Oh, maybe that West Virginia twist of yours just don't work so good here in California. Now, don't get smart alecky. I was doing all right until the place has got so gone down drafty here. Why, the crosswind just rolled the ball into the gutter. <laughs> Some 
but he must have shut the door. That crosswind didn't hit your ball like it done mine. Say, I just been watching. Somebody here is a pretty fair country bowler. Well, thank you. You can see why you're the captain of the bowling team. No crackerjack bowler when you see one. The team could use a good man. We've got an opening in the mixed doubles. Well, all I can say if the team needs me, is I'll do my best. How about it, Luke? Who, me? Well, now that's a pretty big honor, Earl. I want to thank you for asking me. Now, wait a minute. Can't you see the boys busy? We're playing a game here. Oh, I don't mean tonight. The tournament's Saturday. We got to practice all week. All week? Well, me and Luke is playing chickies and things. In science, he's a married man. He, he got to stay home in his family. Yeah, just, just a minute, Grandpa. Kate's going to be busy at the PTA every night, remember? Yeah, I'd be proud to bowl on the team, Earl. Good. <laughs> I think I'll team you up with uh, Miss Powers over there. She doesn't have much experience, but she's got the makings of a real good bowler. Yeah. With a little something left over. Mixed doubles. Next thing you know, women will be taking over the pool polish. Something the matter with your grandpa? Yeah, well, it's hard to tell, Earl. You see, even when grandpa's feeling good, people ask me that. No, I don't know. If this tournament's going to make grandpa unhappy, maybe I better forget about the whole thing. Hello, Earl. Oh, hi. Hi. Did you find me a partner yet? Uh, Luke, this is Marianne Powers. How do you do? <laughs> You're Miss Powers? I was hoping that Luke could play with you in the tournament, but it looks like he's having trouble making up his mind. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> well, now, what kind of a fellow would I be to leave the team down at a time like this? <laughs> All righty, Dottie, Miss Powers. Now, I think the first thing... Earl. I gotta be running along. Oh, darn it, Luke. This is three nights in a row you've been skedaddling out of here right after supper. Yeah, well, I promised the team, Grandpa. And you was the one that taught me a man can't go back on his word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, say, Grandpa, seeing as how you got nothing else to do, why don't you come along and watch us bowl? Oh, who wants to watch? Oh, yes. Yes, Grandpa? You say, how about having a little game of checkies with your old Grandpa? I have some letters to write, Grandpa. Oh, God darn it. Everybody's so busy around here, don't have no time for nothing. I didn't realize. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, here, why don't you sit down and do some whittling? You always like that. <laughs> hi, Grandpa. Oh, hi there, Luke. Say, I ain't seen you all day. Come on over here and sit down with your Grandpa. Gee, I can't, Grandpa. Oh, why not? I gotta study my history. Well, history, I can help you with that myself. Did I ever tell you about the time Jedediah McCoy fought the Indians with Daniel Boom? This is different. I'm studying the history of ancient Greece. Wait, what's that? I never hear about no old Greeks are fighting the Indians. Maybe that comes later. Right now, I'm studying the part that they're just fighting each other. <laughs> well, Grandpa. I guess I'll be going. I might as well be living in a boarding house. For all I'm seeing in my family around here. Now, Grandpa, you know I've got to go over to the school and help finish with the decorating. You told me it was my civic duty. It's a funny thing. The only time anybody remembers what I say is when they can twist my own words against me. <laughs> Grandpa, would you like to do me a big favor? Huh? Well, I know you're awful busy, but uh, could you help us tonight? You're awful handy with tools, and there's a lot of things that you could do that we can't. Well, if you really need me, I'd be glad to go along. Oh, that's wonderful. And I'll tell you what, as soon as we finish, we'll stop by the bowling alley and pick up Luke, and we'll all go have an ice cream soda. It'd be just like a party. <laughs> go get dressed. Hey, say, Kate, but there's one thing. Hey, don't mention ice cream soda in front of that bowling partner, Luke's. Why is that, Grandpa? Well, if that girl puts on just one more pound, there won't be a scale big enough in town to hold her. <laughs> you, wait, no, hold on, hold on. You'll never make it from where you're standing there. Now you got to move into position there like that, see? Now get ready. My, this is a busy place, Grandpa. Where's Luke? Oh, he's here someplace. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shay, maybe we shouldn't bother Luke whilst he's practicing. Come on, let's go home. Oh, Grandpa, I don't think he'll mind. It might be fun to surprise him. I get an idea ain't gonna be so funny. I wish I had hands like yours. I could bowl better if mine were big and strong. Oh? <laughs> yeah, well, you do have tiny little hands. It's easy to see you ain't done much milking. Ooh. <laughs> Sugar bane. Oh, yeah, we was, uh, we, we was just bowling. I thought only one person bowled at a time. Oh, I reckon Luke was uh, learning or something. Well, ain't that interested? Yeah, well, <clears throat> Marion was having a little trouble with her grip. Marion? You know, I mean, Miss Powers. Uh, Miss... Oh, that's right. You two haven't met, have you? Uh, Miss, uh, <clears throat> Miss Powers, I'd like you to meet my wife. Uh... Kate. Yeah, Kate. <laughs> Mrs. McCoy, I'm glad to meet you. Uh, you have a very helpful husband. It's very nice of Luke to coach me, but I'm sure it can't be too much fun for him. Well, Luke, I just hate to tear you away from your bowling. Oh, that's all right, sugar babe. Just <clears throat> tear me away anytime you want. Very nice to meet you, Miss Powers. Good night, Mrs. McCoy, and uh, see you tomorrow night, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Old bowling was good exercise, but I never known it could knock 30 pounds off a girl in three days. <laughs> well, that ain't the same girl, Grandpa. Luke! Yeah, good night, Miss Powers. Good night, Luke. <laughs> you might be needing a new bowling partner after tonight, and if you do, I... It was McCoy's name. <laughs> Fixing the rain. Guess it better run the car in under the shed. Wouldn't want to get them nice new seat covers with. You'd be buying seat covers for seat covers. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, rain, all right. Mm -hmm. Can I help you with your coat, sugar? No, thank you. <laughs> It's chilly, too. Oh. <laughs> All right, Kate. Let's get it over with. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, go ahead, sugar babe. Yell at me a few times, and then we can kiss and make up like we always do. But I'm not mad. Oh? Well, I kind of... I had a notion that you was peeved about something. Of course, you didn't tell me that your uh, bowling partner was a pretty young girl. Oh, well, uh, <coughs> that's just because you never asked me. She's very attractive, isn't she? Oh, well, to tell the truth, I uh, <coughs> never even noticed. Well, that's funny. You were staying so close to her, I don't see how you could have missed. Oh, now, look, Kate. Oh, you was teaching her how to bowl, I almost forgot. <laughs> you must have enjoyed being down there with all those pretty girls. Well, now, look, Kate, now you're exaggerating. I wasn't down there enjoying it with a lot of pretty girls. Just one. <laughs> and I was just bowling with her. I guess bowling means more to you than your own family. Oh. Uh-huh. I can see it all now. You are jealous. Sure is a storm brewing out there. Me? Jealous? You can go bowling every night with Miss Powers for the rest of your life. I don't care at all. Good. Good, because that's just exactly what I plan on doing. Like a bigger storm in here than he is outside. Go away. Kate, you might think this is that young rascal, but it ain't. It's the old one. Come in, Grandpa. I know you're upset, Kate. What have I got to be upset about? Well, I'm glad to see you can be as stubborn as he is. 
I'm not stubborn, Grandpa. It's just that I'm right, and Luke knows I'm right if he'd only admit it. You know, I think you got a pretty good chance to win this argument, too. But sometimes wives win enough arguments, they, they end up by losing the marriage. Grandpa, this is not just an argument. You saw what was going on between Luke and that girl. Yeah, Keith. I seen a lot of things. Oh, in the auditorium there tonight. I seen you in that Clifford fella's arms. Oh, Grandpa, that was perfectly innocent. I slipped off a ladder and, and Clifford caught me. You suppose if Luke walked in just at that time, he'd think it was innocent? You see, Kate, most people can get the wrong ID sometimes. Grandpa, what am I going to do? Luke's going to go off bowling every night. Well, Kate, bowling got you into this thing. Maybe bowling gets you out. Turn. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you uh, don't seem to have your mind on bowling tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I was just kind of drifting there. It was nice meeting your wife last night. I think she's very pretty. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. You made uh, <clears throat> quite an impression on her, too. <laughs> Doesn't she like bowling? No, no, I could never get her interested in bowling. She's just more of a, more of a homebody. <laughs> Honestly, Clifford, that's the funniest thing I ever did hear. Isn't that your wife? No. Yeah, I mean, no, no. What would she be doing here? Uh, Kate? Oh, hi there, Lou. Uh, hello, Miss Powers. Hello. Clifford, you're going to have to show me everything. I don't know a thing about bowling. Well, I can tell you've got natural rhythm. You'll pick up the game in no time at all. Now, the first thing is the approach. It's just like dancing. Here, I'll show you. One, two, three, four. Well, <laughs> how do you do? Evening, Miss Powers. Hi. You having a nice game? Yeah, yeah. Grandpa. Grand... What is Kate doing here? She's learning to bowl. Anybody can see that. Well, yeah, but who's that fellow with her? That's Clifford Fowler. When I went over to pick up Kate at the PT&A meet tonight, we, Clifford didn't have no ride, so, well, I just brung him along. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, Clifford, I never knew bowling could be so much fun. <laughs> Don't do your heart good to see Kate enjoying herself like that? Well, I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to make me jealous. <laughs> but it just ain't gonna work. It just don't bother me at all. so bright about pulling a ball off a man's hand. He's bright enough not to get it stuck on there in the first place. That's why Kate seems to think so. You know, well, what Kate thinks don't bother me at all. <laughs> Grandpa, would you... Excuse me, Luke. You mind one suggestion? Hey, what's that? The pins is that way. <laughs> Terrible, ain't he? I can't understand it. He's been the best bowler on the team. Yeah. I don't like to talk about my own flesh and blood, but he always cracks up when the chips is down. <laughs> now that the tournament's getting so close, why, he's jumping in the bullfrog and the hiccups. <laughs> Kate seems to be catching on to things pretty fast, don't she? Now hold it just that way and remember everything I told you. <laughs> he's teaching her the wrong grip. She'll never make a bowler that way. One, two, three, four. Did you see that? 
that, Grandpa. Her approach was too slow, her backswing was too fast, her wrist was too stiff, and she didn't hardly have no spin on the ball at all. <laughs> Seems kind of a shame she made a strike, don't it? <laughs> well, I ain't gonna have nobody teaching my wife how to bowl wrong. <laughs> That's good, Kate. Now, if you just lengthen your backswing a bit, you'll get more speed. Yeah, j just, j just a minute there. If anybody's gonna lengthen my wife's backswing, it's gonna be me. Your wife? It looks like you've lost your job, son. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, Miss Powers is going to need a, a new teacher from now on. Well, of course. I'll be glad to help out. <laughs> wherever I'm most needed. Now, this is the way you're supposed to hold your wrist. Like that there. Now. Well, that's just what Clifford told me, Luke. But it's the way he was telling you. <laughs> Luke? Was you really jealous? Me? me? Jealous of him? <laughs> Why would I be jealous of him? Well, he probably just sits around them PTA meetings swapping recipes. <laughs> you really was jealous, weren't you, Luke? <laughs> Luke, uh, can I see you a second? Oh, Earl. Yeah, I, I want to talk to you, Earl. It, <clears throat> it looks like I'm going to be uh, teaching my wife how to bowl from now on, so... I guess maybe you better get somebody else to bowl on your team for you. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, Luke. Your grandpa found me another good bowler. Who's that? Uh, that new fella. <laughs>